Okay, I think you uh, CCNA isn't a prerequisite, and that's like the 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 baseline, right? The absolute baseline to mm. uh, get certified in the networking world. Um, if you're like serious and and want hands-on experience and and have a job in the networking world, then you should do your CCMP. Um, mm. And the, the leap from CCMP to CCIE is well, that's that's huge. Yeah. But the thing is, CCMP touches all the subjects, all the topics that you need to know for your CCIE. Uh, so yeah, I think it's really important that you mm. at least start with your CCMP. Mm. Do keep in mind that the step from CCMP to CCIE it's huge in terms of yeah amount of 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 work, amount of task that they throw at you. But mm -hmm. um, at least you touch all. Uh, technologies and okay. I think that's really important how much do you think it's important to work in an environment where you have access to those technologies which is I would say difficult for most of people but does someone has to join a company that has all of those technologies or it doesn't have to be aligned with what your current job at all I don't think that per se it has to be aligned with your current job. Uh, however, getting oh. as much exposure and experience to this stuff is really important. Uh, yeah. So, of course, if you work with these devices, these technologies on a day-to-day -day basis, that, that helps a lot, right? Okay. Um, it isn't necessary, but it, it, it really helps a lot. Yeah. Uh, myself, I'm currently an, uh, a network architect. So mm. I work with the technologies, but on a very high level, I don't mm. go into the devices, into the command line, stuff like that. Mm -hmm. uh, I did that for years. So that's my, my experience, my background. Mm -hmm. uh, but during my studies, I actually didn't uh, do that a lot. 